The Fifth Continent Project is a, is a whole range of linked projects, sort of just trying to connect people back to their local environment. This churchyard is just, is just one of a number of um, sort of key sites that we have across, across the whole of Romney Marsh. As well as being churches, they form these green spaces in the landscape. So these little, little sort of oases can be real havens for wildlife. So today here we've been putting in some additional features. So we've created some little wildflower areas which will come up with, sown with cornfield annuals. They're brilliant for our bumblebee species. But this is about creating a, a living landscape of, of wildlife that's not just in, in little isolated locations, but that we can connect with those areas up. This is quite challenging in, a, in such an enormous and diverse landscape. These projects just could not be done without volunteers. Having local people connected to their, to their areas is, is the only way in which this can possibly be sustainable for the long term. Volunteering just makes you feel good and I love it here. It was just the thing for me because I like history and uh, it ticks all the boxes. Most of the things I do um, on a voluntary basis are quite sedentary. Um, so the thought of coming out and getting in the fresh air and doing some practical work is quite exciting now and uh, meeting new people with similar interests. Well, coming from London, you just expect you pay your council tax and you expect somebody to do everything else for you. But uh, since living here, I've realised that it actually doesn't just get done, it's people that need to do things. Because it's so rewarding, whatever volunteering you do, uh, it's just you, you get very involved and you meet such nice people because you're all there to do that particular thing. So you have something in common. By empowering local people and building those networks of volunteers, and of, of local communities, they can just be, feel free to take those projects and, and grow and grow and grow across for decades to come. So volunteers are the, the lifeblood of, of this project.